be called hummus. There is great debate between Middle Eastern countries. Lebanon claims hummus came from their country and so does Israel. Okay, let's start with a can of garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. I just drained it. Mmm, tastes like boiled potatoes. Then a quarter cup seeds and a quarter cup sesame seed oil. This is not the same clear oil most Asians use for their cooking. The owner of Avos' bakery was kind enough to give my mom some sesame seed oil. Look, it has a very bright mustard color. And it doesn't smell as strong as Asian sesame seed oil. It smells a little like peanut. I also need a tablespoon of fresh lemon and a teaspoon of ground cumin spice. Smells like curry is strong. People of different countries have their own way of saying cumin. Some say it's cumin or cumin or cumin. My mom had a hard time asking Avo of Avos' bakery about cumin. He said he's never heard about it. My mom spelled it twice, and Avo, who's from Lebanon, said, Oh, you mean come on. Oh, come on. So I start mashing the chickpeas. By the way, hummus is an Arabic word for chickpea. The Spanish call it garbanzo. Keep on mashing until it's free of lumps. I'm gonna start doing it like this now. More mashing. I'm gonna start smashing instead of mashing. Oh, that took forever to mash. Now I can add the lemon juice. I'm gonna spread it around. I just mash it a little bit more, and then finally we get to add the cumin. Cumin. One teaspoon. There we go. Mash a little bit more. Hmm, you can smell it. After a little bit more mashing, Finally, we get to add this wonderful sesame seed oil. Okay, now you gotta keep on mixing until it's smooth as peanut butter. Ooh. Reminds me of Play-Doh. There! This is making my dad hungry. He says he wants to try it. I think this is perfect. Now I'm ready to taste it. Hummus can either be a spread or a dip. Bon appetit. Bilhana Wisifa. Mm. Thank you for watching. Just let me duck. Mm.